while they're playing now? Is there one Isaiah in here tonight or a hundred that wants to go? Wants the cleansing of God in your life? You that don't know Christ as your Savior, you're invited now to the altar. If he's speaking to your heart, I'm not very much on persuading. I think the Holy Spirit itself does the persuading. But if you're here and you're without Christ, now remember, you will answer at the day of the judgment for what you do with this tonight. Now, if you want to come, I'm here to pray with you. In Christ's name, I offer you the opportunity to come seek God if happily you might find Him. Young people, old people, middle age, church members, whoever you are, if the fire of God by the Holy Ghost hasn't cleansed you in your heart until a place that you believe every word of this Bible, and Christ is a living witness of you in your heart that He's raised from the dead, then I'm inviting you to the altar. Come here and let us pray with you. Believing all of you then upon your own action that you are saved. Then is there a backslider in here that would come? I am asking you as a servant of Christ. If you walk down here, let us pray with you. I don't say he'll take you back. I believe he will. Won't you come try it now? If he's talking to you, come. Those without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I presume there's not any here that doesn't, uh, isn't backslid. Everyone then must be prayed up, Christians and prayed up. And then if you are prayed up and you haven't got the baptism and you'd like God to give it to you, it's your opportunity. There's one man in here that doesn't have it. Bless his humble heart. I trust it's another Isaiah. Now, raise your heads in. There's one man bowed here at the altar. One I trust to be an Isaiah. Now he's here. You believe he's here? And I'm going to tell you what you've done. You've done the hardest thing you've ever done. These two or three hundred people here walking at the altar. Let me show you in the name of the Lord that I'm right on what I'm saying. Look, some of you people in here pray. Here. Here sits a lady sitting here with a white coat on, a little white jacket, looking right at you. I tell you, she is a Christian, but she's praying for an infirmity. She has arthritis. Do you believe that God can make you well, heal you? And you can heal you. The next man studying next to you there has something wrong with his ears. You believe God can heal your ear trouble, sir, and make you well? Yes. Raise up your hand if you will. Now, please be reverent just a moment. The man right next to him is suffering with a heart trouble. Do you believe that God can heal you, sir, with a heart trouble? I don't know you. You're a stranger to me. Is that right? You're a stranger. Well, listen. If God would tell me who you are, would it help you? Can you hear me all right? Your name is Mr. Blackwood. Do you believe he can tell me where you're from? You're from Riverbank, California. If that's right, stand up on your feet. I've never seen him in my life. All right. God bless you, sir. Your faith made you well. That lady sitting right next to you there has got nervous trouble. You want to be healed your nervousness? Raise up your hand if you do. Lay your hand over on her, mister, that she'll be healed. The lady sitting next to you now has sugar diabetes with a red dress on. She wants to be prayed for too. See? She wants to be prayed for. Have faith. Here's a lady sitting way back here. She's ready for an operation if she can just, oh God... She's got a fallen wound. Her name is Miss Maxwell. Believe. 
Raise up. Accept your healing, Miss. You don't have a prayer card, do you? You don't have a prayer card. All right, you don't need one. Raise up your hand. That's right. I don't know you. That's right. Wave your hand. We're strangers to one another. Wave your hand. Like this. What did she touch? She never touched me. Mr. Stewart, would you want to be healed too? Nervousness and believe that God will make you well. I'm a stranger to you, but that's who you are. And you suffer with a nervousness. You can't hardly hold yourself together. Stand up on your feet and accept your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Here's a lady sitting back behind you there. She's got a nervousness too. She's got something wrong in the muscles in her body. She's going to miss it. And Mrs. Newell, stand up. If that's your name, that's who you are. Believe. You believe? Sure. Here's a lady sitting right here. She's got heart trouble and high blood pressure. You believe that right, sister? Stand up at the child. The lady sitting next to you there. She's got trouble in her chest. That's right. Stand up. Tell the lady next to her she's got ghosts on her face for two or she, she wants that heels on her stand up and set. Uh, now there's a group of you in here all to be in the soul of the Holy Ghost that's got to say it for You see what I mean? Once more, I'm going to make this call. That's a vindication that I'm telling you the truth. God's speaking to people in here and you're a little bit in doubt. Would you be honest enough to put up your hand and say, Yes, Brother Branham, I've always been just a little shaky. I want more of God. I know there's something I'm lacking in here. So I ought to have one of us profess the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Raise up your hand. Will you do that? Just be honest with yourself. The Holy Ghost is never wrong. Why don't you come up there and settle that down? Come. I'll be quick. Speak, my Lord. Speak, my Lord. That's it. Speak and I'll be quick to answer thee. See, I'm not telling you nothing wrong, friends. It's the Holy Spirit calling. There's hundreds in here. If you believe me to be a prophet, now remember I'm telling you in the name of the Lord, you've been deceived. Come up. The coal of fire had touched the prophet. Making him as pure as pure can be. For oh, when the voice of God said, Who will go for us? Then he answered, Master, here sent me. Won't you say the same thing? And rise, raise up your hands, speak, my Lord. Oh, speak. quick to answer thee. Speak, my Lord. What's he doing? Answering, man, if he's speaking, if there's a little doubt somewhere, if you're not sure now, this don't take no chance. Lord, send me. Oh, speak, my Lord. He's speaking. Come on. My Lord. Now, folks, I'm not prone to fanaticism. I'm not prone to saying things wrong. I feel led when I say what I do. My Lord, speak and I will answer. You say, what will the people say about it? It's what God's going to say about it. It's it. Send me, speak, my Lord. Be quick to answer thee, my Lord. Oh, speak, my Lord. Speak, and I will answer. Lord, send me. There's millions now in sin and shame are dying. Hey, so 
and brother hasten to their rescue. Oh, quickly answer, Master, hear and hear. Oh, speak, my God. Every person in here, we want to get ready for a great healing service tomorrow also. Now, I want each one of you ministers to get around these people seeking for the Holy Ghost. Don't just stop in five minutes. Stay there until, how long? Until the Holy Ghost comes. audience now, put your hand over on somebody else, just lay your hand over on one another, on somebody, you just go to pray, that's representing these people up here, my Lord, now the aisles are packed full, the altar's packed full, it's about 150, 200 people, shaking you. The Holy Ghost has got the whole of fire off the altar of God. Laying it up on your 